me attack, baby I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it no cap, only got one so you better go live it up, cash in the bag Stadium pack, baby I'm bad It's your girl CC, aka Cecilia Robinson, aka CC, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in with me today. Before we get started, I need you guys to like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell so you know when I'm coming on. Listen, please, 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 and I'm begging you, please, please share the videos. Guess what, you guys? I am back to dropping videos twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're gonna do this. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I took the necessary leave I needed to take from YouTube, and I'm back. Back with more fire content, back with more energy, and yes, thank you. To my loyal subscribers who have always been there supporting me, tuning in, sharing my videos, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to the channel, please hit the playlist to start from the beginning and get the full effect of what's going on, and so you can know the whole story i no longer do lives on sundays but what i do do monday through thursday 7 p.m central standard time trill after dark over on trill talk media please 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 go over to trill talk media another youtube channel subscribe check out the content check out the topics me black and seven eight we have fire fire stories over there so please, please, please support, support, support. Now, I'm finna sit back and let y'all enjoy this video. Y'all be smooth. Listen, when I say my face was so fucked up from that fucking staph infection, I mean my shit was fucked up. I look like Rocky Dennis. Um, I had bumps all over my shit. The meds they had gave me was not working at all. Um, I was not sleeping. I was irritable. My ass was puffy. My face was um, wilted and um, kind of swole. I mean, I looked horrible. I looked horrible to the fact that I did not go out on the compound reason being i don't need no motherfucking body making any um um rumors up about me saying i got some shit that i don't have and in prison that's not unheard of a motherfucker just look at you and create a whole fucking storyline for you you know what i'm saying yeah you know she over there she got that herbies and shit she came in with the shit and she finally got an outbreak i don't need that shit you know what i'm saying i i don't need that shit in my life so for a few days, I'm not out here. Fuck this compound. You know what I'm saying? I need to get myself right. But the person who was out and about, Nick. You know what I'm saying? Now, Nick's name on the compound was Channel 9 News. Reason being, this bitch is going to tell it all. She going to tell your business, my business, they business, her business, his business. This bitch is going to tell it all. She was messy, and she going to come back with the tea and take the tea every motherfucking time. Now me, I learned I learned who she was really quick. You know what I'm saying? So it, it didn't bother me. I don't have much going on. I mean, I had enough going on, but I don't have much going on for her to go tell no fucking body. It is what it is. Nothing I had was a fucking secret. We all know what was going on with me and Mira. You know what I'm saying? Now, this bitch come back up into the cell and she say, uh, she say, bitch, I got some news for you. I'm like, for real? She like, yeah. Now I'm thinking, I, I honestly, I think she's getting ready to tell me some shit about Mira. But this bitch say, girl, I found out who DP trying to get to fight you. I'm like, fight me? She was like, yeah. She was like, I finally found out who. I'm like, who? So she was like, man, bitch, Flojo. I'm like, Flojo? Now here, check this out. I've never seen a bitch Flojo ever before in my life none of the time i'd have been on this compound i had seen her never the bitch was on k unit k unit is like um life the lifers unit you know what i'm saying um it, and it's not a lifers unit let me let me just uh um say i said the wrong thing k unit is is mean you are the worst inmate on the fucking compound should i say it that way um here's the reason why she was on k unit 
Flojo used to work in, in the cafeteria. So this one fucking day, um, she took a shit. She took a shit um, on a piece of bread and put another piece of bread on top of there and put that shit on a tray. And it wasn't a little bit piece, of, a little bitty turd. It was a whole pile of shit. And she put it on a, on a, on a piece of bread um, like it was a motherfucking bean burger. Put that shit on a tray with some veggies and some fruits and shit and all the condiments and every fucking thing. And passed it out the window to a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Not only did she do that, she went back to her unit. When it was time for her to go back. And, and she boiled some hot water inside of the stinger. And she threw it in the face of the girl. You know what I'm saying? This bitch was on a whole different level of savagery in this prison. So they locked their ass up in, in the K-Unit. And truth be told, when, when you up in the K-Unit, you can't move around the compound. You don't see the dead light. Like when you got to go to the infirmary and shit, like motherfuckers sneak you out the back doors and they got all kind of concoctions to tie you up and shit and put shit on your face. Not shit shit, but like mask and shit on your face like you fucking Hannibal Lecter. It just is what it is. So... They releasing this bitch from K-Unit. You know what I'm saying? Now, mad you, I've heard about this shit. I never knew the bitch was going to be released. I mean, it, it's just one of those things. So, I'm like, Flojo, she like, yeah. I was like, that bitch out of K-Unit? So, she said, yes. I said, you seen her? She said, no. I said, well, what unit she on? She said, I don't know yet, friend. First of all, bitch, if you're going to come back and report something, you get all the motherfucking details. Why the fuck you don't know what unit this bitch is on? You know what I'm saying? I need to know which way to fucking look, and I need to prepare my mental how to take off on this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I'm asking, I'm like, how big is she? You know what I'm saying? How tall is she? You know how much she weigh? I need to get a mental picture inside my fucking head so I know how to attack this bitch. Since she, I already know if this is really what's going on about DP trying to get this girl to fight me, um, that this bitch already in the size me up. So I need to know. I don't need to walk into nothing fucking blind. You know what I'm saying? So I asked her, I said, what else going on? You know what I'm saying? She, well, DP got some other bitches she trying to send at you too. I say, who? She said, I don't know who those chicks are. She said, they just some little randoms and shit. You know motherfuckers who are out here hungry. I said, now here's the thing about bitches out there being hungry. When, when you don't get what you need from your family inside of prison and you don't have shit, um, people target you in there. You know what I'm saying? People target you and they pay you a couple of soups or a few honey buns or some soap or, you know, some washing powder or some shit to do stupid shit. You can buy a bitch in prison. Bitches are bought all the motherfucking time. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and you you will do time. Bitches will do 90 days in the fucking hole behind a soup or some honey buns or some stupid shit. You know, it just is what it is. So I said, you don't know the other chick? She said, nah. She said, so when you go out on the compound, just keep your eyes peeled. She said, keep your head, you know, keep your head moving. She was like, just in case a bitch run up, she said, you'll be able to, you know, handle your business. I tell her, you know, good looking. Now, here's the thing. I got to go over to the fucking infirmary. I told you I hadn't been out on the compound in a couple of days. I got to go over to the infirmary because the medicine they gave me for my, my face, the staph infection, is not fucking working so they got to give me a stronger prescription so i get dressed in every fucking thing and as soon as i step foot out on the compound i got to be honest with you i'm looking left and i'm looking motherfucking right i need to know who the fuck is moving if i see an unfamiliar face nine times out of ten that's the bitch you know um so i'm walking and i'm looking i'm walking and i'm looking i'm walking and i'm looking i get over to the infirmary when i get up in there it's empty you know what i'm saying ain't nobody up in there but the fucking inmates, um, the inmates and the staff, people who work there, and the guards. I said, okay, cool. Now, it's about 14 chairs that's lined up against the wall in different places and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, I chose to sit in the first seat, which was closest to the door. Um, just that way, if I need to get up out of there, I can get up out of there. It just is what it is. Now, as I'm sitting there, I'm looking, you know, looking around. I'm doing random observations, reading shit that's on the wall. You know, looking at how they got fucking abortion signs and um, birth control signs and shit up on the wall. And I'm thinking to myself, who the fuck gonna get us pregnant? The rubble dicks. You know, it, just random weird shit. Making mental notes of, like these motherfuckers slow. So, a few minutes pass and I hear some... So, I look around and I see it's the bitch Janice 
in her fucking walker. Now, I don't like Janice. It's just, I don't like a lot of people, but I really don't like this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Not that she has uh, done anything to me personally. Um, I've heard a few of her stories, um, which is the same fucking story, except for the truth. Um, the bitch say she was Tyler Perry's wife, and she wrote all his plays and his movies and every fucking thing. Um, and he out there living good, and he gonna take care of her. And she, I mean, she got all these weird ass fucking stories. And when I heard it, I kind of blew the bitch off. Like, yeah, this bitch is touched in a very special way. Now her body is is, you know, um, I'm not making fun of her. Cause, and I just gotta throw this out there: the bitch was not born that way. No, God bent her motherfucking body up because he don't like ugly. He don't like evil. And that was one evil little bitch. Um, the reason why she was there is um, she was married, Mary Young, um, black girl, Mary Young to a white guy, corporate dude, um, you know, suit, tie, all this other little shit. And she got pregnant. When she got pregnant, you know, the dude adored their daughter. But she felt like he was paying too much fucking attention to the baby. So this bitch cooked the fucking baby in the oven. Yeah, you heard me. She cooked the fucking baby in the oven. And when he came home and asked where the baby was, um, his dinner was sitting on the fucking table. And he eating, asking where the baby is. And she said, you eating her. You know, you're eating her. That's how he found out his daughter was gone. You know, so bitch, you're, you're, you're out there. You know what I'm saying? And when the when the police and shit, when dude, you know, was notifying the authorities and shit, the bitch was taking pills, trying to kill herself. Instead of her dying, she had fucking strokes. You know what I'm saying? That's how she got the all this other shit. You know, another thing I couldn't stand about this bitch was her fucking hairdo. Up here, because her arms was like this and shit, she could only comb this, comb this. You know what I'm saying? But the back of her motherfucking head was matted. And every time I seen this diaper booty bitch, I, I just want to slap her in the back of her fucking head. You know, another thing, she wasn't humble at all. She had a fucking attitude problem. I couldn't stand her. You know, I just didn't like she wanted my cup of tea. So I hit her, you know, walking and shit. The bitch walked like a fucking car with two flat tires rolling. You know, she trying to make y'all can't see my feet but the motherfuckers is going the way her shit is going and she's walking towards me you know what i'm saying i don't want to keep staring too long because i don't want the bitch to ask me for nothing i don't want to help her no stuff like that so i turn my head and keep reading the random ass signs on the wall now her sound that shit gets closer to me and then it just stops abruptly you know what i'm saying so i look over because at my peripheral i see this bitch standing there so when I look over, this bitch, I could smell her. I could smell the fucking depends she got on. This bitch never changed her depends. Never. It's like she always had a, a diaper full of shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I could smell the shit. And when I look over at her, um, the bitch is looking down at me. She, I need this seat. What? I need this seat. Now, before I get smart, you know what I'm saying? Before I get smart. Let me make sure I'm not in the room. Because it's a room full of motherfucking chairs. Why do you need this seat? So, once again, before I get smart, let me check myself. Let me check and see if this chair is one of those, like, handicap accessible chairs. And I'm sitting in the wrong fucking spot. It is close to the door. You know what I'm saying? So, I turn around, not looking shit. You know what I'm saying? That chair don't say a motherfucking thing. So, I tell her, I say, man, it's, it's plenty of seats around here. You know what I'm saying? And I, I kind of blow her off. Like, it's plenty of seats around here. So she tell me, I know what the fuck is around here. I need this thing. Now, here's the thing. I could have been a bigger motherfucking person. And I could have got up and gave her the fucking seat. And I could have went to go sit somebody, somewhere else. I'm not finna get punked by the bitch in the walker. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. Once again, bitch, you wasn't born that way. You did that shit to you with your evil raggedy ass. You know what I'm saying? And right now, I feel like you, you is trying to prove a fucking point. You know what I'm saying? You want to test the girl who fought some fucking body. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, beat it. She, I said I need that seat. I told her, I said, listen, man. I said, you're not getting this seat. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting this seat. So she, I bet. The bitch tell me bet. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so she take her walking. She walk up a little bit more. And this bitch picked the walker up. Now, man, I got some brand new motherfucking Reebok Classics. This bitch pick her walker up and drop it down on my motherfucking foot. Drop it down on my foot and put her crooked ass weight. She put her crooked ass weight down on her walker and looked me dead in my fucking eye. I said I need that thing. I don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? The bitch had just punched me. And, and, and the, I mean, physically, um, um, she hadn't used her hands, but this bitch had used her motherfucking walker to assault me. So I did the only thing I could do. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's not the only thing I could do. It's what I chose to do. I took my, my, my free motherfucking foot and I kicked that bitch walker right from up under. That bitch hit the motherfucking floor. Slap. You know what I'm saying? And the bitch down there, she's looking up at me and I'm looking down at her. Like, bitch, you bought that on your fucking self. You, you know what I'm saying? You bumped on your fucking self. So, see, see, help me up. Oh, bitch, I'm not finna help you up. You know what I'm saying? You better call one of these motherfucking staff members so other inmates and shit looking and people looking, they done seen her fall on the ground. That What happened to you? I said, she fell. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna say I kicked her and I'm not finna tell, finna tell nobody of this whole fucking exchange. This shit is stupid right here. She fell. You know what I'm saying? So, motherfuckers said, see, I'll tell her, man, Janice, get up. Get up. She, I can't. I can't. You know what I'm saying? So two of the um two of the inmates who was working there, they came they came down there and they helped her up. You know what I'm saying? One of them holding her and she looked like she done. Look, listen. Oh girl had long fingernails. Janice had long fingernails. Her fingernails was brown and shit from cigarettes and I'm pretty sure shit. You know what I'm saying? So she holding on to us old girl and like she totally fucking disgusted. But it's her duty to help a fellow inmate. In my head, man, fuck that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that bitch. How did it go? Um, they, you know, they get her on her walking and shit. And she tell me, I'll see you later. Alright, bitch. It's, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um... The doctor still ain't called me. She walked down to the end of the hall. Um, Janice walked down to the end of the hall. This bitch gets to the end of the hall, and I'm thinking she's going to stop there um, and talk to the people in front of the prescription window, which was really odd for the simple fact they don't hand out meds in the middle of the motherfucking day. They only hand out meds in the morning and at, and, at night. You know what I'm saying? This bitch gets to the end of the hall and do a motherfucking U-turn. You know what I'm saying? Like she in a motherfucking a tray, uh, uh, a car or a semi or some shit. This bitch do a U-turn and she walking as fast as she can. She walking as fast as she can. And I'm thinking to myself, please do not let this lady come over here because I'm going to have to do some dirty shit to her. You know what I'm saying? So this bitch get up to me. I told you I'll see you later. Like, like she's a fucking threat. It's like I get no points for beating up this bitch in a walker. So she tell me I don't like what you did to my girl DP. What? I don't like what you did to my girl DP. Here's the thing. This was one of DP fucking minions. And I'm pretty sure DP had gave her like a few little items to harass me. You know what I'm saying? But the, it, it wasn't about old girl. It was more so about me. DP trying to make it seem like I have no self-control. And just like I'm a bully or some shit. She's trying to make me seem out of control. You know what I'm saying? At what points do I get for beating up a bitch um, in a walker? But here's the thing. I don't give a fuck about getting points for beating up a bitch in a walker if the bitch in the walker do any motherfucking thing to me else i'm gonna fuck this bitch up in this walker so the bitch come over there once again and she takes her walker you know what i'm saying i'm trying to tell her like yo i got my hand out like yo miss gone because i'm not trying to fight you she taking her walker you know what i'm saying and she 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 moving like she unsteady and shit and she keep trying to stomp my motherfucking foot with the walker and i keep moving my foot and i'm trying to like push this bitch out you know what i'm saying and every time i push her off i'm pushing her a little bit harder because my whole my whole goal once i get tired of doing this shit i'm gonna push this bitch into a wall you know what i'm saying all the time while this is going on the ceo get up and say what the fuck are you doing janice you know what i'm saying she she in my seat so the, the ceo tell her like yo i ain't no fucking i ain't no you don't have a seat here you know i ain't no names on these seats see somewhere else you know what i'm saying so she tell she tell me I need my seat. You know what I'm saying? So I tell her, I said, ma'am, I'm not giving you this seat. You know what I'm saying? I'm not giving you this seat. You can go on, on about your business. So she's still trying to, you know, attack me with this fucking walker. So I'm I'm shoving her, and I'm shoving her, and I'm shoving her, and I'm shoving her. And she's saying what she got to say. 
bitch, I'm going to fuck you up and I'm going to beat your ass. And she's constantly saying this, how she going to fuck me up and beat my ass. And the CEO walks over there. You know what I'm saying? Because mind you, the CEO told this bitch go sit somewhere else. And the CEO seeing this bitch attack me. You know what I'm saying? So the CEO finally walks over there and say, Janice, listen, go sit somewhere else. I'm like, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling the CEO, like, thank you. She, shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm going to beat your ass. I tell her, I say, you know what? You right. This bitch tell me you only getting tough because you, because the CEO ain't like him, bitch. You only getting tough. I mean, this bitch done turned up. This bitch done turned into, I'm talking about an incredible hulk on my ass. I say, oh. So I start laughing at her. Listen, I start laughing at her. This bitch takes her walker and hit my motherfucking knee. Look, reflex is to punch this bitch in her fucking head. You know what I'm saying? So I get ready and the CO tell me don't. You know what I'm saying? Don't. 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 CO tell her, Janice, you going to the hole. You just assaulted another inmate. So she look over at me. She fucked this bitch. Fuck her. She ain't tough. She ain't this. And it's like, bitch, I'm just sitting right here so I can get my motherfucking face clean. You know what I'm saying? I just want my face done. Like, I, I mean, not clean, but clear. You know, and it's like you coming over here on this goofy ass shit. I guess DP done sent you at me. You know what I'm saying? So the CO say, you know, um, you going to the hole. So the CO is removing his handcuffs and shit and trying to get on the walkie talkie. This bitch take her walker <laughs> and rams it into the fucking CO. You know what I'm saying? So the CO is shook. It's a man. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker is shook. He looked at her. You know what I'm saying? He was in dead report mode. And he had to stop talking and looked at the bitch like she was crazy. So this bitch gets going crazy. Fuck y'all, y'all gonna let me out of here and all this other shit. And she hit this man two more times with this fucking walker. I mean, she was using this fucking walker like it was a battering ram or some shit. I'm like, this bitch tripping. The CEO grabbed this bitch by her motherfucking neck. In one move. Turned her ass around and grabbed her by her neck. And this bitch over there looking at me like this. Bitch, don't look at me. You know what I'm saying? Because, bitch, you was attacking me. You was fucking attacking me. Bitch, don't look at me. You know what I'm saying? I turned my motherfucking head. And she trying to wrestle with the fucking CO. Until the CO slam her ass to the ground. You know what I'm saying? Now you got to put his fucking knee in a bitch back. She, help me. Listen, when he slammed the bitch to the ground, it's like all this moisture came up out her motherfucking depends. It is what it is with her dirty ass. You know what I'm saying? How it goes, they take her ass to the fucking hole. You know what I'm saying? The doctor called me, give me some stronger cream to my fucking face, and I'm able to go back over to my unit. Now, as I'm walking to the unit, I see this bitch in the middle of the street uh, with her belongings on the cart, pulling it. And me and her is aiming in the same direction. I mean, we're headed in the same fucking direction. So I'm looking. I ain't never seen this chick before. And she's smoking a cigarette, and she looking at me. She... And I'm looking at the bitch. I say, I already know. You know what I'm saying? They done put this bitch Flojo on my motherfucking unit. So I'm already knowing this shit is finna go down. Look, y'all be smooth. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.